Hello, I'm Steve from New Homes Historian and welcome to our Bovis Homes review special for Shropshire. Today's development we take a look at Haversham Gardens in the market town of Newport. The development is three, four and five bedroom luxury homes. Haversham Gardens only has one show home and that is the Oxford, a five bedroom detached house. Good morning, it's Emma from New Homes Historian. And Steve. And Steve. We are here today on the Bovis Development Habersham Gardens in Newport, Shropshire, and this is an Oxford show home. And we're going to take, take a look around. around, okay then. So, lead us through, Emma. We've come straight into the house because there's still actually building work going on in the street outside, and, and we couldn't hear ourselves think. But it is a very impressive house from it the is, outside, yeah. isn't it? So, we've got what's this entrance hall here? Yeah. It's quite wide, isn't it? And nice. It's lovely and light, isn't it? Very wide. So, directly. To our left, we've got a study area. It's very nice, neutral tones, actually. I quite, like the wallpaper. Quite a nice big window there. at the front. I mean, as you can see, there's the, the building work is currently going on. There aren't many completed properties, actually. It's a very, very new development, very new isn't site. it? Yeah. Yeah. And there's the guy with the... Uh, yes. But it's nice, nice little room, isn't it? You know, nice study room. So we've got wooden floor, actually, in the hall. Okay. Oh, I've seen this before. So where you've got a downstairs toilet and it's combined with a, a utility. So you've got space there for your washing machine, your dryer. I like this. So I don't mind that. I think it's a good. Space. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, and they've they've got a lot in that little area. Very nice. God, I, I've right. never ever seen the toilet facing that way. Have you, um, <laughs> have you seen this? Flush. That's nice, yeah, isn't it? It is very nicely finished, isn't yeah. it? And yeah, it's weird. It, that's odd seeing the toilet facing that and way. Although it's dark in here, it, it actually yeah. doesn't, doesn't matter. No, it you've doesn't. Got a, lot of, a lot of useful. The hallway's painted in this crisp white, isn't it? it? Nice. We've just got a little cupboard under the stairs here oh, just to yeah. have a quick look at. We've, oh, that's got the big boiler in. Oh, okay. That is a big boiler. Yeah, that's unusual to see that downstairs. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's always usually on the landing. But you've got a bit of space behind it, not that you can get much in there. No, well, you can a get a bit of. Oh, yeah, oh, that is a bit of. Oh, that's a bit of wasted space there, isn't it? Okay, so through into the kitchen dining. Wow. This is big, isn't it? Yeah, full length. Wow. So we've got a glass kitchen with a, uh, a wood block look worktop. Beautiful aspect. You know, if you look along, we've got that beautiful pat look, a set of patio doors. Lovely landscape garden. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Yeah. Got a lot of uh, very useful units. Got a double oven, your fridge freezer, all the usual bits and pieces. Very nice. We've got the, um, the hob ring on the hob there. It is, and I love the tiles on the floor. Yeah, Very they're laid on an angle as well. I think, is it, is it actually tiling? Because it's impeccable. It is tiling, it's, yeah, it's beautifully done. Yeah, it is, very good quality. Okay. Do you know, it's just really spacious, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a kitchen so big. No, it is the literally whole length of the house, isn't it? Wow. That's nice, nice feature more. Let's have a look inside. So we've got some nice patio doors out to the back garden. Circular lawn. Oh, this it's looks very inspired for one. There's <laughs> a drain right in the middle of the lawn. Oh, you're planning there. <laughs> it, it, this is a big garden, isn't it? I don't know whether it shares a bit of garden with next within the house next door. I don't know, but... Well, that's the show, the um, sales office, isn't it? Next I mean, door. I don't know whether any of you know that me and Emma also run a landscape gardening business and we design and build gardens and this looks very, very garden surgery, doesn't it? It really does look like yeah. that. Yeah, it is very nice. But it's very nice. I like that. Yes. I, I, do you know, I like the sleeper idea in the, in the grass. Though. Yeah. That. It is very different. Okay. F lovely little feature. Oh, do you know, I just nearly banged my head then. That's oh, quite low. I yeah. Mean, I know I'm tall, but... <laughs> yes, I think that could come quite nasty. Yeah. Um, got doors, got so a nice we... feature wall there, haven't we? Yeah, I did say about yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Quite unusual. Right, double doors then, through into the lounge. The lounge is huge. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, I am liking oh, this house. Look at that for a piece of furniture. That is so nice. 
It's like a suitcase. There's another one over there. It's Very. Really like that. that bay window is yeah. huge. This is an impressive this house. Is a really substantial size. Do you know, and this is what I remember Bovista used to be like, you know, big, good sized houses with plenty of room and they've certainly um yeah. they're certainly back to the old days I mean, with the this. It isn't huge, but you've still got a two seat no. three-seater. If you wanted bigger, chunkier furniture, there is plenty of room in here. But you've got you've that. got a three seater and a two seater there. Yeah. I think you yeah. have a really big size tally in here. It's Without losing any room. Yeah. I tell you what, I think Bovis here are letting the letting the room speak for itself. It's really lovely. It's nice, and I love the decor. Okay, we're going to head upstairs now. Okay. Good solid staircase. This is really solid. Oh, I think this is the master suite. Okay, yeah, so, so we're we're upstairs in the Oxford house type by Bovis. So this is the bedroom that's directly above the lounge at the front of the property. It's a very good size. Beautiful soft furnishings. Just going to take a look out of the window to see, apart from the digger there, you know, you've got a good substantial front garden here. You can see a lot of the plots are being um, developed. Yeah, some some excavation going on. Mm, but that's a huge garden. So I think we've only got sort of, including the show home, there's only three houses completed on this at the yeah. moment, isn't it? It's very, very new. Yeah. So this is a lovely, sumptuously decorated bedroom. Love the bed. It's, I mean, that's a double bed. I'd, I'd yeah. say that's no bigger. Um, but you could fit a king size super king if you wanted. Love the mirrored furniture, although we know why they use that. But it's uh, it's very, very nice. Some really good. Fitted wardrobes. Yeah, nice slide. And they fit properly. Oh, you've got a Hoover and a gas canister. I'm not really sure what the gas is for. Okay. Hmm. I think that's the only. I don't think they should be in there. Okay, so the wardrobes aren't level actually because if you look at the bottom they fit at the bottom snugly and then at the top you've got a gap there yeah there i think it's the same on this side as well it's the same it fits at the bottom but not at the not at the top there um there's just a slight attention i'm sure we yeah i'm it's sure we uh, yeah it? yes okay. So through and that's your factor. I think this this particular wardrobe is was was at the development at Kingsmere. Yeah. The particular wardrobe. So I think maybe they need to. I think maybe they need to speak to the people who, who fit their wardrobe. Yeah. It's got a bit of a chip there as well, so it's a bit messy. Okay. Anyway, little ensuite bathroom. Again, impeccable tiling. Um, the yeah, the grout's a bit, bit of an issue with the colour. On yeah, there. it is. It's a bit dark in places, isn't it? But, lovely sanitary wear, good size shower. And I think as well, the the mastic around there is quite messy, isn't it? Oh, that's quite untidy. Yeah. yeah. It's not level, it's just kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> It's better down than it yeah. is. So we've got a shower, a, a shower cubicle here. Yeah. Um, that's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For an ensuite, anyway. So it's got everything you need. Okay. Yep. Okay. So through into the rear bedroom. Okay. So they've done this like a teenage boy's bedroom. So you've got some standalone furniture. This is nice. Yeah, it is just I simple, isn't that. it? I, I like this. I like the bike theme here. No, you know, this is not a very big bed, is it? No, but, but for a teenager, you'd be happy absolutely. with that. Absolutely, I would say that's that's smaller than a double, but you've got plenty of room in this bedroom if you want. And I would say the bike riding theme is very apt because there's a lot of good places around Newport to um, mm -hmm. to go bike riding. And look, tyres. Yeah, very nice. So what was what was there then? Unfortunately, we've got a ball bat in this particular um, yeah. room here, so we've got. A they're standalone wardrobe. I don't mind them putting these in. I, I, I think. No, and I think most people do have furniture like that. Normal people. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So 
So it's mm. another bedroom, but they've done it as a little TV lounge snug. With yeah. On the wall. That's interesting, isn't it? You've yeah, got. Why, like... why have they chosen to not demonstrate this as a small bedroom? One, two, three, four. Ah, five bed. Oh, okay. So it's actually got five, yeah, so it's five beds. And this is amply, amply have another bed in it. Yeah, so you could, you could have it as a bedroom, you can have it as an office. But you've even got an office downstairs. Whoa, yeah. this packs a punch, this house, doesn't it? This is superb. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got a lovely... Uh, a stag. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you get a lot of those around here. There's actually Chetwin Park where there's a lot of... There's actually yeah. a main third, Yes, yeah. yeah. Very indicative of the area. Nicely in done, I like in that. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so another rear bedroom. If nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. So, and that's a nice a, little girl. That's room. saying, actually, is about really... I mean, if new homes are storing, and that's it, we want things to change, and we want Indeed. everybody to be, you know, to, have, to everything to be better. I love that mirror. I've seen that mirror in other, other places. Do, do the light fittings are low in here, aren't they? I it's think not just me the, being tall with yeah, shoes. Yes, I think all the light fittings in the house need addressing, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm six foot two, and I'm taller than you. Yeah. Um, we can have a good look at the garden from here. Yeah? And the development at the rear yeah. of the house, so you can see where the next plots behind this property will be. It's a big site. Just over the fence, but it's a humongous garden. Look at it. No, I know. I, I think it's shared. I think there's a little bit bitten off that, but very. The garden is very nice, isn't it? The planks, the plank paving, the the big circle. One of the best shown gardens I've seen. Oh, you know. Yeah. Do you know? In actual fact, if you look at it, and um, one of our gardens that I designed that we we're about to uh, build, the the if you can see that the bed around the outside there, the the um, the lavender is it, sort of similar. Yeah. It's very nice. Very nice garden. Lovely. Mm, well, they're probably one of the best ones I've seen. And very nice girly theme. Family bathroom. Yeah. So, again with a tiled floor. There is definitely something going on with the grout, I think. Yeah. But you know where it's... Yeah, the seal on the bath there as well, if you can look down, is a little bit... Tatty. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But otherwise, very, very nice. A lovely sanitary wear. I yeah. like this. And a, good, and a shower above yeah. the bath. I like that. It irritates me massively when they don't put a shower above a family bathroom. You need a shower. Everybody needs yeah. a shower. Okay, so this bedroom is at the front. So above the lounge. Oh, standalone instead of fitted. Yeah, it's a good space though. They're big, deep. Beautiful curtains. I like these very much. That's really nice. You know, I like the decor in here. I think it's lovely. It's it's kind of girly, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, but not too feminine. Yeah. Um, but really lovely. Um, and in fact, this is what we've got in our bedroom. This furniture. You can yeah. Get this in IQ or any other big shop. Well. So you know, a lot of people will have this in their homes. It's very nice gloss furniture. It's lovely. Beautiful mirror. That is just gorgeous. I. This is a difficult one to grade because it is fa fabulous house, it isn't is. it? But there's the accommodation a, in it is superb. But there's a a, a a severe lack of detail, isn't there? Such as the the light fittings are too low, little things like that. Yeah, but I would say they're minor, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're not faults as such. They're just things that would irritate you, I think. Well, they'd certainly irritate me if I was banging my head on the light fitting every time I went into a bedroom. Other than that, apart from the a few decoration in the yeah. and that kind of thing, that I think the rest of it is up. Yeah, and that's stuff that can easily be done to make this house perfect, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, this is quite difficult because obviously we... we I'd say accommodation wise though, and general yeah. overall finished decor, it, it's an excellent, absolutely it is. Just one or two little things that we'll be telling the uh, the sales lady about when we when we go back through. That's it. I mean, but I really like this house. Yeah. Okay. So the Bovis Homes Oxford house type at Haversham Gardens is an excellent from New Homes a Story. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our show house special for Bovis Homes in Shropshire. For more developments in your area. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Thank you for watching.